All right. And we have just begun our journey into hiking into Snowmass Lake. Got to this beautiful clearing and you can literally see 15, 20 different shades of green. It's crazy. And you got the Alpine Gypsy. <laughs> and Lindsay back there. And I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. I haven't been to the Elks in since last last November. So damn, it's been it's been months and this particular approach does not really feel like an Elks range approach. I've not been to this area of Colorado before. But it is extremely lush and green and beautiful. Let's check that out. Wow. What do you think, Lindsay? It's amazing. Yes. Look at that. There's like so many shades of green. It's so green. It's beautiful. Just got up here to Snowmass Lake. It is just after 5 a.m. We did try to hike in last night and get up to the lake to camp, but uh, ended up getting a little bit later in a little bit later than we wanted to. There's uh, a lot of snow that required you to do a lot of post holing, so it was pretty exhausting. And uh, it's like a eight mile approach into the lake here. But uh, we got up here early this morning and just kind of filtered some water and getting ready to get started on the rest of the route here. And here is Snowmass Lake. As you can see, the ice is starting to break up a little bit. So. You can tell it's been warm. Hello, Ian. How's it going, man? Good. And basically what we're doing is we're going to be headed just to the left side of the lake here around, and we are going to be making our way up to that gully there. And then Snowmass is right back behind there. You can't see it. Uh, you can kind of see it. I don't know if the video uh, displays it well enough, but it's like right back that little notch there. Right there is actually Snowmass Peak. It is a sub peak, sub 13, uh, sub peak of Snowmass. Yeah. And we're going to be heading up that way. Should be a good day. It has been pretty windy last night, but uh, it's actually died down a little bit now. So it'll be nice when sun comes up and warms us up a little bit. But the higher up we go, the better quality snow we have. Like I said, we were post holing pretty much the entire way up from what would you say around 10,000 feet last night yeah all the way up to where we set up camp so it's pretty miserable but uh, nothing too crazy so we're gonna go ahead and get started and we'll bring you guys back snowmass lake is absolutely beautiful we have just been coming down right like I said right here yep right behind ian making our way over here the closer that we're staying to the lake the better the snow quality so haven't had too many issues with post tolling uh since we got behind the willow patch right up there everything else has been pretty solid since then um and check this out check the way that there's multiple layers of ice frozen and super cool looking so now we got alpenglow and again that's snowmass peak not too far and we'll be at the entrance of our first uh gully and make our way up towards the summit so we just got to the other side of the lake and we just came from this direction here and we are as you can see surrounding peaks here see some ski lines here and turns here as well i don't know if you can tell it too well for the video i'll see if i can zoom in a little bit but there's like a little shelf right there that if it gets warm enough, that thing's just waiting to slide. So uh, definitely be mindful of that. Um, I do want to say I'm not an expert in avalanches, but at least have a general idea of what you're doing if you're planning on climbing something this time of year. We are at the base of the first couloir. So we're going to be heading up this way, which means we are gearing up here and putting our crampons and everything. Um, this isn't necessary, but we're doing it just as an added safety precaution. We brought our harnesses along uh, so we can have a personal anchor system. If we need to take a break on the steep slope, we can anchor into our ice axes. So again, that's not necessary, but we're just taking an extra, sa uh, extra safety precaution because this gets really, really steep at the top there. So um, it's better to have it than to not is the way they look at it. So. We're going to go ahead and get finished gearing up here and we're going to make our trip up the first couloir. We are starting our ascent up the first couloir here. And I got Ian right back there. And the sun's coming up. Beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. And check this out. I don't know if you guys can see all of these branches and stuff like that. This here shows evidence that there was an avalanche here. 
Uh, not sure how long ago that was, but like I said, from all the debris here, that shows evidence that something has occurred uh, in the past. And right in front of us, we've got some people snowboarding and skiing down. And um, looks like they're having a good time. Once we get up there, we will be up over that first push up here, and then we'll be heading our way towards the peak. Just about halfway up this first couloir, and as you can see, we've got a beautiful view with the sun reflecting off the ice on Snowmass Lake. And this place is beautiful. Still got the steep section of this left. That right there. Once we get up above that, then we've got that sustained slope all the way up to the ridge. And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but running right under us, right over here where the snow meets the rocks, there's actually a huge water runoff underneath the snow. If you guys can hear from the video, but it's pretty crazy. So far, nothing too crazy. The snow's been in great condition. Um, it is starting to warm up a little bit, so it's becoming a little bit softer, but nothing to cause concern. Making it a little bit easier to dig the ice axes in, so there's a positive there. Going to finish this part up here. We are very close to topping out over this first couloir. Not much further to go, just taking a break here. We actually got some people snowboarding coming down next to us, so let's get out of their way. And there's Snowmass Peak, just over 13.7. It's a cool looking peak. Looking forward to getting up over this first one. And then on to the second slope. All right guys, we just got to the top of the first couloir here. Wasn't too bad, uh, took a little bit longer than we were anticipating, but that's usually how these things go. Uh, snow up in the middle towards the, the upper part of that was starting to get a little bit um, melted and post hole and stuff like that but in the end it wasn't too too terrible we're at the start of the uh, slope here that leads us up to gaining the ridge we just came up here gained a lot of elevation from the lake um, I believe we're probably right around 12,000 feet summit of snow mass is just over 14 so not too bad another cool thing i can't wait to look forward to is you'll notice that if you can see this line here in the snow that you can actually glissade the whole way from the top all the way down to the lake so that's really 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 going to make us uh, have a good time getting down and we'll be able to make a lot of uh, we'll be able to make up some time getting down and you know it'll end up making this day pretty good uh, but another thing if we successfully reach the summit today, this will be my climbing partner Ian's 114er summit. So we're going to, like I said, slow and steady wins of the race, not in a race or anything. So we're just taking our time and we still got plenty of daylight left. We're making excellent time. We're just gonna have a good time and see where it goes. Little by little, we are making our way towards the summit of Snowmass. And this part here just seems never ending. This is a very, this is a beast of a mountain, we'll just say that. So, um, what's cool though, is now that we're up a little bit higher, you can see the bells and you can see Pyramid back there. So I can't wait to see that once we're on the summit. Uh, not gonna give an estimate of how long, but probably an hour, maybe a little less, we'll see. Um, good news is though, once we get to the top, we can go stay the whole way down, so. That's going to be the reward. We are making our way up this slope here, which is much, much steeper than what we just came up. Very steep. We've got this slope to go up above, flattens out a little bit. Then we got the ridge, or sorry, the slope up to the ridge. And then we just got that final ridge push to the summit. And turn around here. Got Ian coming up behind me. I don't know if the video illustrates it, but this is very steep. Got gorgeous views of the bells and pyramid over there. Down there you got Snowmass Lake. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think so far, Ian? It's a good climb. It's been a long day. Very long day. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But hey, we're making progress, man. We don't have too terrible much left to do. 
Um, and again, I don't know if you can see this from the video, but up here, you can see shelves that are just waiting to drop. So oh, uh, speaking of which, you see that? Yeah, yeah, speaking of which, um, that's up above that though. Uh, but no, uh, that looks like a, a shelf just waiting to slide. So really taking in these views, Snowmass is a beast of a mountain. Definitely want to be in shape before you come to do this one. I'm struggling a little bit on it. Uh, it's been a little bit of time since I, I've been out climbing, so I'm feeling it, but you know, slow and slowly but surely we're going to be able to make it to the top. And we have arrived at the final slope up to the ridge and dang is it freaking steep. Um, it's taken us a very long time to get here. You said this mountain is a beast. Uh, now again, this isn't typically the way that you gain the ridge. Uh, you actually gain it over there, you can't see it, but um, the conditions here have uh, you know, allowed this to be open as a ascent up to the ridge. And all the people in front of us have been taking this route and coming down it as well. So um, we just got this one last little hurdle here to get up onto the ridge and then some scrambling to the summit. Hopefully we, hopefully we knock this out a decent time. I'm already slurring my words because I'm so exhausted. So we're gonna work our way up here and hopefully see the summit soon. We just got up to the very top here. This video doesn't illustrate it at all, but this is really steep. Really, really steep. And you can just tell based on seeing where his knees are when he takes steps of how steep it is. You got the scene? <laughs> yeah, man. But, man, look at this. And this is how we're going to get up onto the ridge. We'll be there soon. And right once you get up above that spot onto the ridge, this is what you're going to see. We've just got a little bit of scrambling to our summit right there. And man, is that a good feeling. I seriously thought this thing would never come. So uh, good to finally be up here. We're just taking a little bit of a break and we're going to make this final push up these uh, this little bit of a class three section here. And uh, we get the summit hopefully soon. So we'll talk to you guys soon. And here is the final push to the summit. This is the only bit standing between us and standing on the top. Man, it feels good. This last little bit of scrambling has been a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, what do you think? I think it feels good to be this close, finally. I, I know, man. I felt like this day was never gonna end, but we're only halfway. <laughs> so, but nonetheless, this last little bit of scrambling has been a blast. So it's nice to have a little bit of change of scenery here after climbing up this snow for the entire day, so. Yeah, dry rock is a beautiful thing. Yeah, it, it's great contrast after what we just did. So, um, like I said, guys, we only have this little tiny bit right here. The very top that you see right there is the true summit. We will be there shortly. Here it is. I'm going to give Ian the honors of summoning first because it is his 114er summit. So, Ian, will you do the honors? Thank you, Chad. <sighs> Snowmass Mountain, what a beast. Yes, congratulations. Oh man. Hell yeah. Excellent job, man. I'm gonna come up and join you. It took a lot of hard work to get to this point in this moment, man. That's for sure. Congratulations, man. That's a huge accomplishment. Thank you Great very job, much, man. man. Great job. Let's enjoy this summit for a little bit. What do you say? Absolutely, let's do it. All right, man. And here's a 360 shot from the summit of Snowmass. Over here you have Capitol. Look at this exposure here. Thousands of feet just down. Over here, you got the bells and pyramid. Notice all of the red coloring, it's cool. All right. Still a lot of snow up high. You look back here. What a good day. Well guys, thank you for tagging along for this week's Hiking in Colorado 14er Adventure. Snowmass Mountain, a 22 mile 
round trip peak in the elk range man look over there you can see the maroon bells you can see pyramid back here beautiful man it feels good being up here again thank you all for following along and ian congratulations again on your 114er summit thanks man thanks for being here for me man not a problem you guys have a good one